Google. But people on the Facebook side don't realize that the Facebook pixel is not your friend either. If people understood how Facebook's pixel works, that's a whole other part to this. Like, for example, if someone touches your website and you have the Facebook pixel on, and Facebook had served an ad to them anytime within 30, 45, 90, whatever, they're charging you even if that person never clicked on the ad. So think about this. This person came in from Google or came in through organic search. Who, uh, Facebook had served an ad to them at some, some point in the past 90 days. If they came to your site, Facebook charges you for that click even though they didn't generate the click. And they do that because that, that pixel placement lets them know, oh, here you go. This person's on the site right now. And guess what, Facebook? We served this person an ad at 3.23 on Thursday. They didn't click on it. They didn't act on it. But you know what? We're part of that attribution funnel, and we're going to charge the end customer for it. So there's so many different components to how people or how their money is being siphoned off. It's really hard to keep up on. I mean, it's really, really hard.